distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. In recent years, the financing inclusion process in the world has achieved positive outcome in, enabling better access of people and business to finance and services, narrowing down the gap between rural and urban areas, financial infrastructure investment and expansion, improving indicator for growth, development, and poverty reduction, and using of social resources in efficient manner. The achieved results are attributed by the active support and collaboration of the international community and the effort of each country itself. These are reflected in the global initiatives and program on financial inclusion from the United Nations, G20, APEC, ASEAN, the World Bank, and ASEAN Development Bank. Through which principles, took list, and national strategy framework on financial inclusion and its implementation mechanism are developed. Nevertheless, there's still about the two million unpaid worldwide of which the Asia Pacific region accounts for more than half. Micro, small, and medium enterprise, the poor, the women, and other vulnerable groups still have to face with many barriers to asset financing services due to the lack of comprehensive legal framework, uneven development, and inadequate investment in financial infrastructure and limited financial literacy and knowledge in consumer protection. In addition, a growing number of newly in immersed institutions which provide financial services and products appear to have a chain market model and characteristic and are shaping the new future of financial inclusion. This also poses many challenging for management and oversight activities and rising risks to information and system security and safety. As said, it is important to harmonize objectives of financial inclusion, integration, and consumer protection to maximize the potential benefits of financial inclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> with that in mind, the State Bank of Vietnam, in collaboration with the City Foundation and the Foundation for Development Cooperation, organized the Pacific, ASEAN Pacific Financial Inclusion Summit in Thai, Advancing Financial Inclusion in a Digital Age, to open up a forum for discussion on the above mentioned issues, with the focus on development of technology for financial inclusion and seeking cooperation in this area. The summit will take place on the 21st and 22nd of March 2017 with more 10 sections. We will explore and discuss on the factors of fake regional financial inclusion development, technology for growth and consumer protection, and financial inclusion, and the opportunity opportunity for the poor, the women, and just etc. This year's summit is held in the context when Vietnam has actively put joint efforts with the international community to promoting greater financial inclusion. It is a good opportunity for Vietnam to share experience and lessons learned in process of implementing financial inclusion in Vietnam. Vietnam has more than 60 million people living in rural areas, accounting for the 52% of total labor force, who are the main target group requiring support, especially through financial inclusion. The party and the government of Vietnam have paid attention to agriculture and rural areas with a number of directions and policy aimed at developing and enhancing the area performance, such as policy on credit support, investment attraction, agriculture and rural restructuring, supporting for recovery from natural disaster, etc. 
In the upcoming time, Vietnam will continue to create more favorable environment for people and business in gaining easier and more efficient access to financial services, contributing to social economic develop development and sustainable poverty reduction. Therefore, Vietnam wishes to receive the attention and cooperation from international donors and organizations and international and domestic financial institutions to assist Vietnam in achieving effective and sustainable development and implementation of financial inclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, the State Bank of Vietnam welcomes and highly appreciates the joint effort of the City Foundation, the Foundation for Devel Development Cooperation, partners and donors in working closely with the State Bank of Vietnam to organize this summit. I look forward to hearing the following topic discussed during the summit in example, policy issue and solution, the legal framework, infrastructure development, the diversification of financial services, and products, and the role of related stakeholders in achieving the goal of strengthening and furthering regional cooperation in financial inclusion. Again, I would like to wish all of your good health and our summit have a successful. Thank you very much.